what's up guys it's claudia welcome back to my channel it's another beautiful summer weekend in the city so i'm gonna take you guys thrifting and vintage shopping with me and let's see what we can find i'm actually going to europe in two or three weeks so i definitely want to look for a few pieces for my trip this is the outfit for the day super cute So this first piece I found was definitely not the most summery, but it's this beautiful faux fur vest with sort of like a tweed material and little flower appliques and it's definitely perfect for fall and winter. I loved it, it just wasn't the season for it and I thought I should probably focus on the summer things. Um, I actually found this top from the same shop and ended up getting it and taking it on my trip to Europe, which I just came back from by the way. So lots of Europe vlogs and thrifting videos to be expected. I also found that jersey mesh kind of ruched dress and these denim capris with buckle details from the same shop. The capris fit me like a glove, so I'm very very happy. Next I went to this shop which definitely had a bit more curated designer things. They actually had a ton of beautiful pieces but they were definitely more pricey and just nothing that I felt like I needed at the moment. So I moved on to the upstairs where there were even more sellers. And again, lots of really amazing pieces. I was just mostly focusing on my trip. One thing that I'm always looking for are great vintage tops because I feel like I'm very picky when I'm thrifting them and I feel like I just never have enough. And then I wanted some colorful pieces for the trip as well. I moved on to this vintage shop at the outdoor market across the street. I picked up a really pretty pink lace ruffled dress from this shop which I'll show you shortly. I also thought this kind of khaki olive suede halter top was really really cool. I feel like it's something I'd see from Meow and felt really great for kind of end of summer into fall. Um, so not really my focus right now obviously. I also really like this lace kind of corset tank, but I decided to leave it for now. I definitely just wanted to see what else was out there. I was also on the lookout for a kind of night out dress slash dinner dress. I haven't really been wearing many dresses recently, I've definitely been more of a skirts and shorts girl this summer, so I was looking for maybe a new dress to add to my wardrobe. And I didn't find that this time, but here is the dress that I bought for Portugal, as you see. I already wore it and styled it, and I absolutely love it. I think it's so flattering. And then I moved on to another shop where I found two pairs of vintage shorts that I loved. These ones are just kind of slip shorts with lace trim at the bottom and just easy to style but totally chic if you're into the whole grandma chic thing obviously as i've been saying on my channel um i know it's not for everyone but i'm definitely into it and then i also bought the white eyelet trimmed kind of shorts I had an all white outfit when i tried them on and i thought it looked super super chic for summer also how iconic are those pink lace bloomer shorts I actually wish I got them, I don't know why I didn't, but I'll be on the lookout for them next time I go to the vintage market. I've also been enjoying styling these like track shorts and more like sporty skirts with kitten heels for the summer. I feel like it's just a really cool combination, kind of like styling a more girly skirt like this one with sneakers, except you're obviously doing it vice versa. And then this Puma track sweater was absolutely dreamy and totally gives the same idea. I feel like it's just a really great combination of like classic tomboy and something a little more girly. By the way, I have found these to be pretty easy to thrift actually, so that's mainly why I didn't end up buying it at the vintage market. It's just always more expensive, but yeah. All of my track sweaters that I have currently are super great vintage pieces and they're just from the thrift store. 
I absolutely love them. I actually don't think I've shown you them on YouTube yet, so I'll be sure to include them in my next thrift haul. This shop actually had a lot of really great pieces, including this Gautier sweater, which was iconic. They also had so many really, really beautiful slip dresses, which are perfect for summer styling. If you don't have one already, I would definitely recommend adding that to your wardrobe. You can style them in so many ways. And they also had this dress, which totally reminded me of a piece from the brand Fancy Club. If you guys have been seeing it, it's been like all over Instagram. And it has the ruffles, it has the kind of pastel color. And honestly, if it were more fitted to me, I think maybe I would have considered it, but um, I moved on to their tops. They had a lot of really pretty delicate lace tops as well as some graphic ones. They had like Roberta Cavalli and more slip tops. Plus just look at these colors, they feel so summery to me. The white, the pink, the green. So I'll definitely be visiting this shop again. And here are a few other ones. I thought this one was cool, the French Connection. They also had this Puma top, which also felt like a great combination of the sort of sporty style meets girly style. And I thought this would just be perfect with a denim mini skirt. It's also something I can totally picture Ruby Lynn wearing, if you guys know her from Instagram or from YouTube. I just feel like it's very much her style and yeah, just a really great casual piece for summer. Then I made my way to a few other shops. This one again was very much pink, which feels so on topic for the whole Barbie hype. I also found this really cool denim skirt with star studs all over the front and back, and it was so, so pretty. I love the fading on it as well, but unfortunately it was not my size. I also really like that it was a midi length because I've definitely been sporting mini skirts more recently, and the midi length is definitely... I feel like coming back and it's also a great kind of practical style going into fall after so definitely on the lookout for those coming up this save the queen dress was not entirely my style but it definitely had a really cool detail with the mesh train on the back it just felt very very elegant this corduroy and lace top was also really pretty for like a cooler summer night there's a cute dog and then I moved on to my last shop of the day. They had a really cute denim purse right there. And I also found this really pretty lace top, which was strapless, which is totally what I'm into right now. I feel like this top is kind of everything that is my summer style right now in one piece. And I don't remember why I didn't get it. I think maybe it was pricey, but it's definitely a piece I'd be on the lookout for in the future. It just I don't know, tube tops to me are my number one piece for the summer. I feel like they're so comfortable and they just feel great but are super chic. And that's it for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I have a ton of videos filmed that I'm editing right now and they'll be coming out to you very soon. I'll see you next time. Mwah.